We are in Ray Thacker's house. Everybody, well, everybody knows who you are. This is Ray Thacker, everybody. Good to see you, Ray Thacker. Thank you, it's good to be seen. <laughs> How long have you owned this house? Uh, I bought the house, I believe, uh, 1984. What's the history of this house? What's the age of this house? Uh, 1901 uh, is, is the date on it, but I, I don't know, you know when it was started, uh, construction on it, because a lot of the history of the house was lost when the courthouse burned, but, but 1901 is, is a good date uh, yep. to put on the house. Any, do you know anything about the people that used to live here or anything? Uh, yeah, a, a little bit of just what people have told me, uh -huh. and then what we have been able to find out. It was it, it was built by uh, uh, Ed Strickland, uh -huh. uh, and he had a brother, uh, and they came to Cartersville from the Dalton area, and opened up a mercantile store. And um, while being here, Bartow County was a very agricultural county, and a lot of cotton here. And then when the people would bring the cotton into the gin. Uh, there, there wasn't a cotton broker here. So Ed saw that there was a need, you know, for uh, a, a, a cotton broker. Mm -hmm. So he started uh, uh, a, cotton, a, a, a cotton brokerage farm, and that's basically, he probably did better than uh, his brother did that had the mercantile store. All right, let's talk about your history. Were you born and raised around here? Well, yeah, uh, Bartow County, Bartow basically, County. Uh, you know, uh, I went to uh, Emerson School, mm -hmm. I went to Smithville School, I went to Pine Lock School, I went to uh, Peoples Valley, and then, uh, uh, of course, Cass. Uh, that's where I graduated from, Cass High School. You became a very successful hairdresser. Yes, I did. How did you get into that? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I can condense it enough to, to, right. to let you know, but... Um, that was not my intention. My intention was, and, and a lot of my high school friends will, will get a kick out of this, was to go to Reinhardt College uh, to be a history uh, a teacher. And, uh, but when I started to Reinhardt College, I knew in about three months that I was not college material. Uh, so I had sense enough to quit before I knew that I was going to flunk out. So uh, I, I, I quit school, uh, and prior to that, because it, I said it's amazing uh, how we do not know where God is going to lead us. But prior to that, when I was in high school, I knitted in a knitting room at Easy Mills. I'd go to work at 12 o'clock at night, and I'd work until 12, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, and then I'd, I'd go to school. Um, then uh, after I started Reinhardt College, I gave up my third shift job, and when I quit school, then I started back at Easy Mills, sweeping floors and uh, sweeping floors around the unit uh, uh, where the uh, ladies would sew uh, the undergarments and things of that nature. And as it was, a lot of the ladies that I swept around their machines became my customers in the beauty salon. So that was just a, a wonderful thing. And, and, then, and before then, uh, a lot of customers that uh, became my customers, my father was a mechanic downtown uh, in the 40s. He worked for uh, Charles Cowan, John Cowan's father, uh, and then uh, John's mother was such a blessing in my life, and I learned so much from her, that my customers, uh, or my dad's customers, became my customers. And the thing that I had to endure was, well, we've got to go to uh, Hubert's Baby Ray to get our hair fixed. So that was, uh, you know, and then, and then some, uh, some of the clients were like Miss Caroline Young, that uh, owned Young Brothers Drugstore, Miss Ann Choate and, and, and Bernice Cowan and things like that. And those ladies really put the fear of God in me. Mm -hmm. And I will have to say this, if I had not got into hairdressing, I don't know where my life would have gone, but they absolutely uh, just, uh, they were my educator. I, they were the people that I learned from. You um, owned salons, a salon? Yes, I had seven beauty salons. I had seven beauty salons, 79 hairdressers, and I had a women's clothing store. In Cartersville, Georgia in 1967, I had coiffures du jour and boutique. I was really ahead of my time, and a lot of people thought I had come from Mars, but I really didn't. <laughs> uh, it was interesting, you know. It's been interesting, an interesting journey. Hey, welcome to Treasure Chest Outlet. Let us know if we can help you with anything.
stop in at Treasure Chest and we'll come back again. We offer in-house blood work where you can get results immediately. We also have digital x-rays. Come on down to Pet Vet Clinic. We're located at the corner of Burn Hickory and Mission Road. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We're here Saturdays from 8 to 12. Hope to see you soon. Hey everybody, welcome to Angelo's. How are we doing tonight? Good. Super Bowl. Hey. Are you doing the special tonight? Yeah, we're going to do the special. We're going to eat some wings and pizza. And what, do you like good most, time. what do you like most about Angelo's? Uh, the right service, the service. hospitality. Good looking guy that cooks the food. Well, I haven't seen him yet. But, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, hope you enjoy. Well, Always uh, deal at Angelo's. Thanks, thanks for, for having in. us. Thanks for having us. Hey, welcome to Angelo's. How are we doing tonight? Hey. What are you doing? What are you having tonight? Pizza. Pizza? How, how's the pizza? Is it good? It's the best. Yeah? All right, well, thank you. <laughs> what do you like most about the pizza? Oh, we like our waiter. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay, all right. So, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. All right. How did you meet the President Carter and his wife, and how did you get involved with them? That was uh, that was through, through hairdressing. Uh, when when I when I started hairdressing, uh, my father and my mother uh, they always taught us to be the very best that you can be at any you know at anything you do. Mm -hmm. And I was raised in a, in a wonderful wonderful Christian home uh, that you always put God first in your life. A lot of times I I, I did not do that, and I made some grave mistakes. But in hairdressing, uh, uh, I was the, the chairman of Air Hair and Beauty Fair. I was stylist director for the state of Georgia, and uh, uh, I was uh, uh, on a committee that uh, brought shows into Atlanta and guest artists and things like that. And every politician wanted to come to the hairdressers' uh, conventions, and we had a, a very active association here in Cartersville. Uh, that unfortunately does not any longer exist. So that's how I basically met uh, President Carter and Rosalind Carter uh, through through the Hairdressers Association and, and so many you know politicians like that. And then when he uh, was running for governor, I supported him. And 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 then when he he won the Democratic uh, nominee nomination, uh, he and Walter Mondale, I came out with a hairstyle called the Fritz and the Grits, uh, and it it made national news headlines and it was in the Atlanta Journal Con Constitution because uh, in the hairdressing profession I had lots of hairdressers all over the United States and we had a cut-a-thon for uh, to raise money for uh, uh, the campaign and uh, the money that we made off of the haircuts that we did went into the campaign fund and then I also I had a boutique here as I stated before I had a fashion show to raise money for President Carter and Judy Carter uh, President Carter's daughter-in-law at that time was the, the guest speaker and then shortly after that she asked me if I would cut her hair and I did and then it, it just kind of snowballed uh, from Judy's to Annette uh, who was Jeff's wife and then to uh, Chip's wife uh, I cut her hair and then Jack came down uh, to get his hair cut because he wanted to know who this Ray Thacker was and then mm -hmm. I cut Jason's hair uh, and, and there was a, a, a wonderful article uh, on that. Uh, it, it showed me cutting Jason's hair, and the headline headlines was getting ready for Papa's big day. So that's how. And then after that, Judy asked uh, asked us if, if if I would be interested in going to the White House to do hair for certain members of the president's family. And then uh, we did go down. And when I say we, one of my uh, uh, friends that that worked with us, we went down to Plains and. And I, I did Rosalind's hair uh, for uh, you know before before the inauguration. And then you just walk away from cutting hair, or just yeah. Well, well, I I walked away, but the reason I walked away is because that there wasn't, and and, and I don't mean any you know uh, ill feelings toward the younger hairdressers, but I walked away from it because when I dressed hair. Yeah. And I guess I'm a little passionate with everything that I do. That lady that was sitting in my chair was the most important lady in the world at that time. I mean, she put, you know, clothes on my back, uh, roof on my head, food on my table, and a car to drive around in. And I gave her 100% divided attention. And the new hairdressers, they want to talk on the telephone while they cut somebody's hair. They want to do this, and they want to do that, and they want to do the other. And that is not my cup of tea. So, yeah, I walked away from it.
I really did. Now you own this house. Yes. On Main Street. Is there a name for this house? I mean, yes. Um, I named it Grand Oaks. Okay. Uh, uh, there was a lot more oak trees in here uh, uh, when I bought it. And, and the reason that I bought this, I also owned a florist too, Mumford's Florist. And when the brides would come in uh, to talk about flowers and things like that, they'd say, Ray, where can we have a rehearsal dinner? Where can we have a bridesmaid's luncheon? Where can we have a reception? And there really wasn't a, a place available for that. Uh, this house uh, had been on the market a long, 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 long time, and a dear friend of mine, who's deceased now, uh, and, and then Gene Vance is the one that owned the house, uh, and that's who I bought it from, uh, he, would try to come, he would try to get me to look at the house. And I didn't, because I just knew it was beyond my means. Uh, and one day, Charlotte walked into the florist, and she said, Ray, she said, let's go look at the big house. And I, I guess the timing w w was right, David, because I just laid down what I was doing. We drove down here, and when I walked in the front door of this house, it's history. <laughs> because there was such a feeling that came over me, and such an overwhelming feeling. Uh, uh, the house had been in an apartment for several years, and Jean and Cheryl had spent a lot of time on it and a lot of money getting it out of the apartments. And I would say, basically, that they were the ones that really saved the house from ruin. But I do think probably if I had not bought the house that it probably may not be here today because it was overwhelming. I mean, it really was. It's a beautiful house. <laughs> well, thank you. Is, thank you. Thank you. Uh, is it open to the public? I mean, do, you, do people can come to your can Can people just come look at it? Well, this is the way I, I look at it. Okay. God has blessed me with this house. It's not my house. It's his house. And yes, everybody's welcome here to come and look at it. If they'll call and, you know, Call. Uh, yeah. Can't and, contact and, you on the computer. Can't contact you on Facebook. <laughs> no, 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 no. And then we are open to the public uh, for lunch uh -huh. uh, the first and third Tuesday, March through September uh, from 1130. Call make reservations? Until, yes, call and make reservations. All right. How do they do that? Okay. They pick up the phone and they dial our 770-382-6322. Uh, 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 we don't have dial phones anymore, so if they'll punch in. Uh, 770-382-6322. And, and it's a wonderful lunch. We do a soup and a salad, uh, three meats, four vegetables, homemade desserts, and, and things like that. Twelve bucks. Uh, you can't beat it. Sounds good. <laughs> it is good. Do you have a good turnout every year for that? I mean, yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, about probably 10% of our, 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 our patrons come from Cartersville, yeah. and then the other percentage comes from, uh, we, we have a customer base that reached to Chattanooga, Somerville, Alpharetta, Dunwoody, you know, just, it, it's amazing. And then we have people from different states, you know, that come in that's visiting. Uh, we've had people from, from every state in the union in 55 countries in the house since we've been open. And that's with no computer, fax machine, website. Right. So that goes to show you how powerful the mouth is. In marriages. <laughs> a lot of people married here. Oh, goodness, yes. Oh, before the economy went north, south, east, or west, whichever way it went, we were doing 40 and 50 weddings a year. Uh, it was nothing for us to do 40 weddings in a year. Uh, it's been amazing. God right. is good. We've been very blessed. Everybody, we're at Grand Oaks. Ray Thacker, of course, you all know that. Thank you for joining us on Cartersville Uncut. Oh, you're very welcome. It's an honor. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Cry Like. I'm Melissa Cheeks, the managing broker here in Cartersville. Hi, I'm Carolyn Brown, and I'm a realtor here at Cry Like. Hi, and I'm Sharon McCary. I'm also a realtor here at Cry Like. Are you facing financial difficulty? Have you lost your job or facing foreclosure? You have options. Give us a call for a free confidential appointment. Cry Like's been in business since 1977, and we're number six in the nation. We're here to help you sell your property. If you have any questions, give us a call or stop on by. We're located in the Longhorn Shopping Center.
Hi, I'm Tom Riddle with Preferred Heating and Air Conditioning. We've been serving Cartersville and Bartow County since 1998. We have a fleet of seven trucks on the road to serve you day and night, 24 hours a day. If you have problems with your home or your business, please give us a call, 770-383-9001. Again, the name says it all. We are Preferred. Hi, I'm Derek Brass from Thomasville Automotive. Come by and see us. We take pride in your ride. We're right beside Buffalo's on Felton Road. We sell tires. If you buy tires, set of four tires, free rotating balance for the life of the tire. We got a 1695 oil chain special. Five quarts of oil in the filter with a free tire rotation. We also do brakes. We do diagnostic checks. We'd love to come by and see us. Come by and ask for Derek Brass. We take pride in your ride. Everybody, we're with Chris Thomas. He is the new guy at the chamber. Nice to meet you, Chris. Nice to meet you. All right, give us the full name. What is the name of the chamber? It's Cartersville Bartow County Chamber of Commerce. And what is your new job? I am the marketing and membership director there. What does that mean exactly? Uh, we, I'm in charge of all the marketing that goes on and the membership, enrolling members with the chamber. What are the perks? I mean, what's, okay, I'm a little business. And I'm thinking about joining the chamber. I, got, I know a lot of businesses who join the chamber. Well, what's a good? Why should I join the chamber? Well, the the biggest thing about joining the chamber is there's there's so many things that goes on at the chamber. So many opportunities that a new business would have to be able to uh, come in and put your business card in someone else's hand. You know, we are uh, the chamber is serving businesses, businesses serving the community, and that's uh, you know that's our primary goal is making sure that. Our members, uh, their businesses, their cash registers running in and they're pulling in all kinds of business. Well, how do you do that? Uh, we offer a lot of things. We have a, a, a great website uh, that, you're, that you have access to, that your business is on there. There's, like I said, the networking events. We have a lot of uh, training that specializes in small businesses, making sure that they have a cutting edge in their business. Uh, training seminars are going on all the time. Uh, well, I've seen some of that. You bet Facebook. Is something even like social media? Training. Right, right. We just have come through, uh, through a training seminar with a social media training that's continuing on. There's a. There's, People don't realize how important that is nowadays. It's huge. It's huge. It's we're in a whole different ball game when it comes to that. The social media. So you do your best to keep businesses informed. That's right. We do. And we you, do. And you, you have people help them with that. That's right. That's right. Everybody, this is Chris Thomas. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Looking for great skin? Look no further. Reflection Skin and Laser Center, Cartersville's top medical spa, offers all your skin care needs. Medical grade skin care, laser hair removal, Botox, dermal fillers, dermal planing, chemical peels, microdermabrasion, you name it, we carry it at Reflection Skin and Laser Center. Call 770-383-3552 for your free skin care consultation. It's that time of the year, time to get outside and do some mulching. If you're looking for mulch, we have exactly what you need. 100% clean colored mulch. No rocks, no dirt. Look at the color clarity on that. We have brown, red, black, natural, play safe, and a pine bark blend. If you're looking for mulch, come see us. We got what you need. My name's Andrew Pettit with Etowah Wood Resources. We're located at 26 Red Comb Drive off of Porter Street in between the Twin Bridges. We look forward to meeting you. Here we are again, West Shell and I, right across from the Quick Trip on Highway 41. Your source for guaranteed cheapest pricing on uh, flooring, hardwood, laminate, engineered, cabinets, furniture and oak, handmade, unfinished cabinets, heating and air, scratch and dim. Why pay full price, guys? We can see. We're running that closed blood cut special on these stoves right here. 249 doors, cheap. I got a full warehouse, guys. Call us, 770-334-8339. One Day Sign, Cartersville's most experienced sign makers. Open since 1991, One Day Sign has been serving Cartersville and Bartow County for 20 years, helping you with all your sign needs. From helping you with small and large real estate signs to helping you advertise your business with graphics for your vehicle and your building front signage, we're here to make sure that your business is known. 
Customer service is our number one priority here at One Day Sign, and our main goal is to live up to the reputation that we've made for ourselves. So give us a call today at 770-386-7432. Cartersville's most experienced sign makers. Everybody, this is Steve Taylor. Steve Taylor, a lot of you know, is the owner-operator of Taylor Farm Supply. That's right. How long have you been doing that? I've been, uh, I've actually been in business since uh, I got out of school in, oh gosh, the early 70s. And my grandfather started our business in 1948, so we've been here forever. So you've been here since you've been a little bit. I've been, I was raised in the store, so to speak. We had a cattle and cotton farm, so I was raised up on the farm, but my granddad had the uh, farm supply and he ran that and so when I got out of school I just took over the farm supply business. Was that a little dirt road out there in front of the store? What was that? That was, well where the store is now, no that was right in, I'm right in town, I'm downtown Cartersville right, okay. and the, the store was uh, actually an old cotton warehouse right. that, I've, that I was in before and in 1990 we built the store, our present location at 12 Leak Street so that's uh, where we are now probably where we'll stay for a while. All right, you've thrown your hat into the wind. You're, getting, you're running for county commissioner? I am running for county commissioner. I've thought about it for quite some time. And I've served on several boards uh, throughout the county, bank boards and uh, development authority boards. I've been on the chamber board. And uh, I've seen the county progress. And uh, I just think it's time that, uh, that uh, we have somebody with some business leadership. Clarence Brown has done a great job. He's uh, retiring now, and uh, I think I can do the job, and uh, I'm going to give it a try. What do you think is going to happen? What do you, what do you got to be on the lookout for in the county for the next four years? What do you, what do you think is going to come up? What do you possibly? Well, to start with, I think our county budget, from what I've seen going by the commissioner's office, and I think it's going to be a tight budget for the next couple of years. I hope that things will... Uh, the economy will turn around and, and get better. I think there's some industry that's looking, uh, some real promising things around Emerson with the Lake Point and other uh, retail stores that we hear some buzz about, but uh, that's on the south end of the county. Of course, in the uh, middle part of the county on Cass White Road, we've got an industrial park that's empty. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, we can attract some industry to the industrial park and. Uh, Create some jobs. In you hear any rumors of any more businesses or anything coming into the county? You know, there's always some people. We uh, have our development authority meetings monthly, and there's always some uh, industries looking. With this economy, it's uh, I think they're mostly just tire kickers just coming in and right. checking us out. But uh, there's uh, there's always some rumors of some industry looking here, but. Uh, Right now, I don't. I haven't heard of anything really big that's uh, other than Lake Point that's that's promising right now. Lake Point coming in. Does that any worries there about the county growing too fast? I don't think so. Now, not with the county putting the brakes on like four or five years ago. I don't think any of those worries that we used to have like five years ago everybody was saying you know the county needs to slow down we're growing too fast we was building houses on every corner mm -hmm. but uh, that's not happening now in fact we need some people that's here to buy some homes now and some real estate so uh, uh, I think we need some growth so to speak and quite a bit of it really everybody this is Steve Taylor running for county commissioner very nice to meet you Steve thank you and it's good to talk to you Hi, I'm Larry Jennings with First Response Plumbing. We fix water lines, sewer lines, camera, jet, repair faucets, whatever you might need for his plumbing, give us a call. The name is First Response Plumbing, 770-386-5222. Thanks again, First Response Plumbing. 
First Response Plumbing. We're a self-serve frozen yogurt shop located at 148 West Main Street in beautiful downtown Cartersville. We offer over 14 different flavors daily. Our yogurt is fat-free or low-fat, and we always have sugar-free options. You're welcome to come in and sample before making your selection. Then hop on over to our toppings bar where you'll find fresh fruit, cheesecake, brownies, and much more. You create your own treat and pay by the ounce. We're open Monday through Thursday, 11 to 10, Friday and Saturday, 11 to 11, and closed on Sunday. Book your next birthday party with us or let us cater your office party or gathering. We bring the yogurt party to you. Just call us at 770-334-3059 for questions. If you haven't been in to see us yet, what are you Southeastern Auto Works, we just wanted to remind you to stop by and see us. Here at Southeastern Auto Works, we handle classics, customs, and collisions. We can do paint, body work, mechanical, and we can save deductibles on most insurance claims. You can go to our website at www.southeasternautoworks.com or you can call us at 770-606-0665. I'm Dale Yarbrough. My wife Kathy and I own the Guardian Pest and Termite Control in Lawn and Ornamental Care. With warm weather right around the corner, there are two important things you need to know about early spring. First thing you need to know is that we are nearly into termite swarm season. So be aware of any flying insects. They may be ants or they may be termites. Termites do billions of dollars of damage annually and homeowners insurance rarely, if ever, covers the damage. And the second thing you need to know is that this is the perfect time of year to begin a lawn care program and start fighting those stubborn weeds in your yard. April showers don't just bring flowers, they bring up scores of unwanted weeds. So call us today at 770-386-9985 for all your pest and lawn needs. And be sure to check out our Facebook page and our website for special coupons, guardianpestandlawn.com. Thanks to all of our customers for over 20 years of support.